Are we recording? <laughs> no, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know if we're recording or not. What? Oh, yeah. Last, last, I just were here. Yes, last time recording. we had Steve on, we, we had him for two shows. We yeah. had a regular show and then a bonus show, and people absolutely love Steve. Man, that shit was in the top ten It for was forever. A while. Awesome. It just yeah. recently got bumped down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That, that, that makes me feel good. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah, both you, episodes were a minute. You got bumped out by a... Uh, Denver doll. Yeah, sex dolls. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Sex dolls. Yeah. <laughs> really? Sex, sex dolls. Yeah. Totally. Uh, well, you know, I mean, that's that's that, that's a that's a big thing now. I mean, you know, it's with with the, you know, we were talking about downstairs the, just the decline of, of human interaction. Mm-hmm. You know, people oh, yeah. to people physically. I mean, mm-hmm. and, and to you know, you have these people who feel very. Um, unable to come forward with feelings and, and you know, they, there's there's still a, very much a stigma attached to, to male mental health. I mean, oh, women yeah. have for years and, and it... Yeah, well, I, I can cry all the time and get away with it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, but but then you also, it's it's normalized to to talk to people about your mm-hmm. feelings about stuff like that and then there's part of the part of the culture that is saying, okay, yeah, it's okay for men to talk about their feelings and then there's a, a still, I feel, a large part of the populace in the culture that says no you're a pussy you're not a man you're you know if you cry and uh, 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 you know what uh, uh, fuck you oh well, uh, shit see those, this is what i'm saying this is, a, that, this is what we're gonna do that don't know steve steve is our doorman from the club man and, and this is a deep thinker dude and, and we do we get into some fantastic conversations my name is pixie and i'm mr j and so we're gonna roll right on into this with steve uh, we don't know where the conversation's gonna take us but nope it's always a good time. Well, let yeah. me tell you, the last time we had you on, like I said, it was very, very popular. It stayed up in the top ten for a long time. People, People loved, loved that it. one. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm glad to have you back. You know, and I don't know where we're gonna go. I have no idea. How have you been? How's the club? Um, are you still making money? Things are kind of different now. Yeah, they, they they are very different. The uh, the, the plexiglass finally came down. Ooh, nice. Uh, a, a while ago, God, I, you know, you lose track of time when you you know you you, you work two jobs and you end up just kind of just hurting you know, cats uh, on acid. Or hurting the cats on acid, yeah. <laughs> but then also you know every day job and, and you look up and I think it's I think it's part of adulthood. The older you get, the faster time seems to move. You know, you look up, God, it's twenty twenty two already, or it's oh yeah, or fuck, it's August. I it was you know. Uh, it was just January, and um, but the, the club's doing doing okay. I mean, there, there's peaks and valleys, and we're in a bit of a dip, I think, just because of you know right first of the year, right after the holidays. Mm-hmm. You know, you spend, everybody spent a bunch of money, it, and then it, it's we're always into, dead right around that time. Oh yeah, yeah. and then, then we're also moving into uh, moving into tax season. Yeah, so I expect it to to take off. Um, surprisingly, my my personal tip out has, has suffered very. Very little. I think I've had one day where it was like, God, what am I doing here? Like, you know, I didn't. I didn't make a whole lot of money, but it was more than I walked in the door with. Mm. So that that, that we, I'm grateful okay, for that. Okay, so you lose out on yeah. the money. So yeah. it's, it's a game. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And and like you said, you're there for fun as well. You know, you're part of the family. Right. You know. So oh, yeah. has the family changed? How how are the girls? Are they still making money? Or some of the girls are, um, and, and others, it, it's, it's been such a, I don't know what it is, but there has been such a turnover, even even since I was here last. Mm-hmm. What, what's it been, a year? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it yeah. was season two, right? Season two, season I think two? episode seven and eight. Yeah. It was, it was pretty oh, early was in ago. season two. Yeah. 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 Episode seven and eight. So, Enter the doorman. Um, yeah. Enter the doorman. And then cats on acid. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But uh, even in the last year, there's been such a, such a high turnover, mm-hmm. and it just... For our club, and I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm feeling Getting a little more, little more jaded about the whole thing. <laughs> a little, you know, we're looking at it through a different colored lens. Right. Um, but it just doesn't seem like it's the the, the the family as much anymore. And I think it'll, I think that will develop as as girls stay on because we've had there's this whole group that they they come in. And then they, you know, they move on and so. But then there's like one or two that stay, mm-hmm. yeah. and then we get, you know, five or six or ten more, and then you know, seven or eight or nine of them will leave, and then the one will, will kind of stick. Right. So I think we're we're building that dynamic back up, and as everybody gets to know each other. Well, and, a lot of us retired at the same time. A lot of us, uh, like me, um, Kylie, mm-hmm. Autumn. A lot of us, we we left. Yeah. We we decided that that club, you know, due to personal issues and the things that happen we're like okay it's it's time for this whole new crowd of 
young <laughs> young strippers to no, come in. No, and I totally just, get it. Well, yeah. It comes in kind of like an ocean. It's like in waves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, sometimes you get a little... You were with our company for... For years. You know what I mean? Yeah. You were always that, that grounding staple yeah. I've been throughout the generations. And when that leaves, it's, it's hard to replace that. A right. lot of people aren't suit for leaders, you know? Yeah. And so, how was your weekend before we jump oh, right on? Oh, uh, fuck, you're going to come to me? Oh, dude. yeah. Oh, fuck. yeah. Hot potatoes. It's Hot been potatoes. a long week. Work sucks, work sucks. But, but, here's the good news. Because I'm working so hard, I got new p new parts for the computer system. It's coming along great. Yeah, right? I'm and I'm excited. buying expensive shit. Yeah. So, we're going to be able to do live broadcasts, it's live shows. Good. Yeah. We've got Season a... 4 is going to be off the chain. Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm guessing great ideas. So, I'm doing good. How are you? Um Big D surprised me with a xylophone in the bedroom. A xylophone. Uh, Big D likes to do jam sessions. And what, like the little small no, ones? No, no, not with like the, the little small ones. Multi colors on. Ding, ding, the, ding, ding, there is a xylophone that is bigger than our table. This table, this glass one that's in front of us, which right. is in the bedroom, running perpendicular with my bed. He messaged somebody on Facebook. To like the foot of the bed? No. Long oh, ways. <laughs> long ways. <laughs> So, so Big D can serenade me in the bedroom with a. Or he quick... can roll over on his on his xylophone as he's sleeping. If he wants to, yes. he, we'll he put probably. Put those arm over that. It's it's got great big tires. You know, you could reel it around. It's got the nice wooden uh, notes on it. That is awesome, dude. No, no, it is not. <laughs> yes, it. Is. Yes, how, it how is. can that be a bad thing? I mean, how, how, I, I can't see any, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't see any downside to any of that. You can't see I mean, see you guys can have your own soundtrack. You do your own, ding, 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 well, you know, the, uh, you know. Yeah, entrance music. Yeah, man. I could, I could sexy dance to Dude, I love, this. I love, you I mean, I don't see a downside. That's the difference between men and women. Huh. You guys think it's hilarious. I think it's in the way because I can't get to my laundry because I have really short arms. So now I can't get into the closet. You can find yourself a, a, a way around oh, that. Lord. You'll be fine. Oh, Lord. Let the man, you know, Let and, the don't, man have and a don't make this difficult on him, okay? Let, the, Let him keep his damn xylophone I in, guess, his, in the bedroom. I guess, you get the xylophone for just Yay! a little bit longer. Yay! Score one for men! <laughs> <laughs> we win! <laughs> no, seriously, though. It, it's okay to have, like, weird shit. You know, it's I've got a room dedicated to toys. It's definitely... Well, I have a room dedicated to toys, so... Well, I mean, there you go! Yeah, yeah my... My room, where where I have my home studio, where most of the stuff in that room is toys, is, and yours and mine. Yeah, his, his room is the living room. He can wheel that, and I mean wheel. It's got wheels. He can push that right out to the living room and have a xylophone in the living room. Are you married? No shit, no. And, and this is the kind of reasoning why, right? No. Never. Do you see the reasoning here? Yeah, I'm not doing it's it. My space. Everybody should have their own little space. Yes. Yes. So, and the xylophone is it? But you have a room. That. So you can't. No, you, no you, the room is the bedroom. That is my room. Your your private little studio with all the toys. It's in the bedroom. Yes. So so, so he has to so he has to he share. Has a, he has a whole living room. The whole living room is is. Ha has his couch that he picked out, his um, his PA equipment, his guitars. There's there's like two snare drums. Mm -hmm. there, there's his big TV. And you don't have anything in the living room. I have my spider. I have a. Yeah, I've seen uh, that thing. But, but I have wait, a spider. I, hold on. How do you take how do you take your bedroom where where you you both sleep? You come together. <laughs> you're supposed to share this space. And I feel and, like and, I'm and, being you know, I, I mean, the big yeah. probably feels like an invader when he walks in there. This is I my hope space. So. This is ah, my space. Ah, roaring any people ah. and doing the tight, you know, the T Rex arms. I mean, come on, cut the guy a break. Oh, give a little bit. All right, let's let's ask Big D. Big D, how do you feel about walking into my bedroom? <laughs> See. Into a toy store. <laughs> See. See. He has his own space, his own, you know, his, his own vehicles. He's got, he's got, t there's tons of manly stuff, and I'm just trying to carve out a little bit of pixie room. You know what, though? But maybe, because remember back in the day when, <laughs> I mean, when you watched, um, I love Lucy. Back in the day. I love. They, I love they had Lucy. separate. Sep they had separate bands. Yeah, yeah they, they did. Or, yep. and, and even that was a big thing, you know, turn of the 20th century, where man and wife had separate bedrooms. Uh -huh. Maybe 
that's the key, one of the keys to a long marriage. Because people didn't get, I mean, there's other cultural references to other right. cultural influences on it. But you have your space. You can go here. He can go there. You have your own thing. to, And then you come together with the rest of the house. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, what, if there's, what if there's an argument Maybe. for that? To have yeah, there's own. totally an argument. Well, I think that an argument against it as well. I, sometimes I believe that TV is conditioning. Maybe they, because... At that time, they weren't allowed to share the same bed. So I'm yeah. not sure if sometimes TV is reflective of what they say was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, well, I get maybe it on, that I on TV, but yeah. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, did they really do that back in the day? Have no. we? Have you ever asked your grandparents whether or not they slept in the same bed? My grandparents, um, on my father's side, both had separate bedrooms. They did? Mm -hmm. Bedrooms? Bedrooms, What yeah. about yours? Um... I don't remember because my grandfather's been gone so long. Grandma never remarried. My grandparents had separate bedrooms. Wow. Yeah, then they had their own space, their own, you know, they could. Yeah. And I, and I, I believe. I don't know. I believe people should have their own space. They should have a space that's just theirs that, like, I'm not going to go into the living room and just fuck shit up. I'm not going to go rearrange what he's got. I might. <coughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you, <laughs> I, I do go and mess things up because, like, we're always constantly moving, like, the camera gear back and forth. Right. And, you know, I've got I've got a rocking chair from Sunny that's in the living room. Now it's in the bedroom, but we don't. There's no room in the bedroom for the for it because there's a xylophone. But yes, mm. I believe that men and women should have their own space. Okay. So you you let's let's break this down. So you <laughs> so you received this rocking chair from Sonny. Yes. Temporarily. Yes. Temporarily invaded his by yes. your invaded his yes, space. And I mean invaded. Yes. With this rocking chair. Yes. And it sat there. How long? How long was it in the living room? At least two years. Two years. Yeah. Big D. How long have you had the xylophone? A week. <laughs> Damn man. So so so. so I uh, by, made oh, a this move sucks to be a guy. Yet. By that logic, you have 103 more weeks. Good oh, God. Goodness. Oh goodness. Stop your bitch. But, There's but, fair. But when I, I'm not bitching. I'm just saying that everybody should have their own space. Like, I'm not mm. sure if. Yeah. I, and I, because I, I, I tend to that. disagree on on that because maybe my life may be just different. I guess uh, it's not. Well, reflective you have a whole house that. by yourself now. Yeah. But growing up, my parents shared the same room. I figured that everyone's family did that. At least that's what they portrayed on TV. You know, like say the my my parents shared their shared a room. Yeah. Right. Because well, it was a two bedroom house, so it was two bedroom house and three kids. They had to share a room, yeah. and then the kids had had to share that room. You know. And, and I always figured the living room was kind of like. The community, commons, you community. know what I mean? Yeah. The company yeah. comes by, you bring them into the living room, yeah. so, yeah. you know, it's kind of balanced. Yeah. But the bedroom definitely, I guess, should belong to a woman, right? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm i the one that's in charge of the bedroom. Like, oh, okay. like I put the way of the laundry, I make sure, like, certain things are where they're supposed to be sometimes, you know. Um, and it's kind of, that's that's where I retreat to. Okay. When when Big D comes home, he wants to sit on the couch, relax, watch his watch his, I don't watch TV. Okay. So if I'm watching TV, I'm hanging out with my husband. So it's kind of more of a commons area, you know. But does he get the garage? We don't have a garage. He has oh, he has the body see, shop. And that, there you go. So it's it's his space to do what he wants. Like I I don't de decorate it. Like I try to, and I put up this hideous um terracotta brown paint on the walls and it just looks terrible because <laughs> i was trying to get three people to tell me what color they want for the walls and they said i don't know and when everybody says i don't know i just picked a color and, mm -hmm. and then and nobody went, was happy and nobody was happy yeah. so now that's how it's going to be for just a little bit longer until we decide to redo the the living room but right now yeah it's his tv it's his computer set up, it's... His it's, video games? His video games. Okay. Well, no, my video games are out there, too, because um, we don't have a TV in the bedroom. We have my laptop in the bedroom. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's it's separate. I, I believe well, for mental health that everybody should have their own kind of space. Space, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. What about you? You have... I, I'm, I'm sleeping diagonal across a king size bed, so I mean, I, yeah, yeah. My isn't it great? It's all my, it's all mine. It's I don't, all yours, yeah. So what? How would you feel if uh, somebody came in and invaded and just 
rearranged everything that you are. You probably I, I, give I, and I, take. I, yeah, give give and take. But I, I think you went. I think you're overstating the xylophone issue because it's, <laughs> it's not rearranging everything you are. I mean, no, no. Come on, it's we, taking we, up a corner of the it, room. It was it was so big that we had to take it, take it apart to bring it into the bedroom. It wouldn't Damn, fit through the big. it wouldn't that's fit through the big. door okay. yeah. the door that's jam. A, so it's big, it's that's fine. On scale that's, that is that is yeah. Big. And, and there's like a snare drum and the laundry basket. So you know it's it's okay. It's it's fine. It's just one of those funny things that oh, yeah. that happened to happen that I could stand up and just go play the xylophone if I wanted to. And every so often my my youngest will come into the room and he'll just want to play on the xylophone. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm like, you got kids? Yeah. yeah totally. Yeah, so, I would do it. Yeah, all the time. All the time. I would get on your nerves just like, all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Mom. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in there. Yeah, so like, I'll be in the kitchen and somebody will be like, where is that coming from? Well, I mean, and it, this could be an investment, too. I mean, I think Big D, what would you say? You got it for, what, 30 40 bucks? Yeah, 30 bucks. You yeah. know, and, the, and these things are typically going for, what you say, you know, a thousand, a thousand, fifteen hundred yeah. bucks. That's crazy. So, even I mean, find used. somebody even used. Even used, I mean... You look at it like like an investment, you know. Where, yeah. Whereas the rocking chair, that that's a that's a sentimental investment, right? right. From from right. a really really down to earth and Plus solid. Plus, it's also guy. a place for seating. Like if it's not covered in jackets and stuff, yeah. I could sit in it. Yeah. It's got it's got a cushion in there, and sometimes when there's no space on the couch, yeah, I'll sit you in. You can sit in that, yeah. Yeah. So it's not just a a piece of furniture. It's a Useful piece of furniture. Okay. It's not like a xylophone, you know. <laughs> How are we here and we are a stripper-based podcast? <laughs> Folks, I'm sorry. No, I, I think <laughs> We're it, out in the weeds. I think it brings into a thing, um, back to what Steve was talking about. Like, you know, when we get into, like, the strip club and stuff, there's a lot of people that, especially men, that, that don't have their own space. They don't know how to talk to women. They don't know That's true. how to yeah. do a lot of things. So okay. we're seeing a big change and culture shift between you know strippers and sex dolls so we're seeing like yeah. a lot yeah. of change that's how we got here with yeah the sex dolls. see yeah. see and Woo, you I, got well I, girl I'm bringing it mm, back okay mm. but you're on the front lines you're mm. the the guy that's holding the key for young people to come in the door be welcome and kind of learn how to talk to women you you already know. Are they still doing that, though? I, 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 I think that's, uh, <laughs> if, if they're coming to a, to a strip club to learn how to talk to women in, in the real world, they are in, <laughs> in, in the wrong spot. And, and, and not, not, not to denigrate any, any, of my, any of my sex workers, any of my, any of my dancers, or anybody, or any of the staff, but it, it is a fantasy. It's like equating what you see on, on for porn equating that to real sex in the bedroom yeah. okay if you try to pull some of the shit that they've done in porn mm -hmm. i'm throwing a hammy I'm, my back's out <laughs> i'm down for a week you know i'm looking for workman's comp you know it, and it just, it's it's not reality right right it, it just and really it's a dangerous game too like much. you get you get a guy and he he's wrapped up in this fantasy and he's tipping these ladies and and then you know, he gets dejected. You know, somebody says, "Oh, no, thank you," or something. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes guys take it a little hard. Yeah, or they, uh, they they show up on the, or even even if he's not rejected or dejected yet, he, you know, suddenly they're they're showing up on the doorstep. They because in today's day and age, if you're resourceful, you can find anything about anybody. Yeah. And they show up on the doorstep, but that has happened. I've wow. had girls, you know, relate stories where you know guys will just show up, you know, willy nilly and randomly that. with with gifts. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and she's like, dude, this this is where I live. What are you doing here? I mean, do you it's have any of those weirdo. stories that you could uh, recap? Wow. Um, I've got yeah, like like I, somebody I, coming in and saying, hey, that's my wife or that's my girlfriend or you know the the customer or the 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 husband of the dancer. Do you have any of those stories for us? There, there was one. She was, uh, you know, we, we go back to, um, let me d double back to, you know, we had a big a wave retirement, a lot of mm -hmm. older, and and keep in mind that the age group for, for dancing is, is, is there's a very short window. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, strippers, you, you know, strippers have an expiration date where it just doesn't, it, the, the grind is, it, and it's, it's one of the hardest jobs on the planet. 
um, but the, the grind is just not worth it anymore, or you want to do different things. You want to, mm-hmm. you know, you, like, like you yourself, you know, you, well, you, you start you, a did, podcast, you, yeah. You, you danced for many years, and then yeah. you moved to waitressing, kind of, you know, yeah, yeah, that, that was kind of yeah. that thing. And, and then you decided, I was, I'm done with this environment. Yeah. It's just not, it's not worth the stress. It's not worth the headache. And, and then you moved on and, yeah. and, you know, you tried a couple of different things that the battery store didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, didn't work. Um, and, yeah. and now you're here with, with the podcast and doing, doing other things. Um, but there was a, there was one dance and she had been, God, how long had she been dancing? She'd been doing it 18 years. Oh, wow. Which yeah. is, uh, you that's know, a, you know that's extraordinarily good, long. That's a that's long a good time. run. Yeah. And, and, and despite being, you know, in her, in her mid, mid forties, um, mid to early forties, wow. she's a, a very, uh, very be- beautiful lady. Okay. But she, she, she maintained herself as she saw, you know, she needed to, she's mm-hmm. very fit, very, you know, very pretty. Um, but yeah, her when when she decided to get out, I mean, this was uh, this was about a year and a half ago or so. Okay. I mean, you know who I'm talking about. Maybe you should hang out with uh, you know, give the back rubs and and do the matches. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, whoa, whoa, what? Uh, she had gumdrop nipples. Yeah, gum. And she would stick match matchsticks to them and light them up. And then we'd all yell out, "Fire tits! Fire tits!" That's fucking great. You know, and so. then, oh, I have a. St- I wish. I wish I could get her on st- on here. Oh, because, she would be a blast. Because uh, one time she we lit. Need to get a she, picture of that. She lit them on fire. Well, she's she's kind of various, uh, like an A cup. So okay. the nipples were the small A cup. Mm-hmm. Uh, the nipples were the attraction to the boob. So like gumdrop nipples, like bam. Bam! Like you could put somebody's eye out with them, and she would, yeah, she would put the matches on, and she lit them in front of the guy and said, "Go ahead, blow them out." And the guy went, "Poof!" And he smacked her on the tits. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. The, uh, so yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, like a hustler. If I ever met one, she mm. was she was that good. Yeah. Yeah, and she and she, she did it. It was dependable. Yeah, I mean, you talk about every and, and single day. Dependable she's, she's and stri- dependable and dancer, dependable stripper do not necessarily go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Oh God, uh, yeah. you know, so especially at that many years, yeah. But, but her, yeah. but her husband, you have to. But her husband was at the end when she was ready to get out. I don't know the exact thing, but I mean, he's texting and and calling and talking, just just all all kinds of threats and admonitions, mm-hmm. and I mean, just you know, I'm gonna. And this guy's maybe five five, one hundred and twenty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> just like what he's texting Mr. Slow, oh, all, all this stuff, you know, oh, all this yeah. stuff, and it's just like, dude, just just stop, you know. So the, I think the biggest biggest problem that I, I've ever seen is is that we have some of these girls that we have suspicion of of they do have a, a, a pimp or a, or a, a man that is is trafficking mm-hmm. them, and they want to come in and, and monitor, yeah, monitor the situation. So yeah, you know, we we don't do we don't do boyfriends or husbands in the club. Uh, we definitely and, and, don't that's do pimps. That's a huge and, change. And we, we, we don't do... We the, don't do pimps, the, yeah. We don't, do, we don't allow the pimps until yeah. they find out they're... Yeah. You know, it's, it's you're fucking with everybody's money. Yeah. Because if that girl can't make money, that means she ain't giving me money. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so no, yeah. we're not doing it. And so... Because I'm trying to understand, you know, the differences between uh, the generations, between uh, things that we did 20 years ago and things that we, we do now. You know, um, because the girls obviously have changed. They would have to. The generation would have to have changed. You know, mm-hmm. back then, girls kept it to a minimum and they didn't talk about it that they did it. Um, but now, today's girl is already on uh, is already on, 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 on OnlyFans. She already yep. has. Um, she's already ex- has exposure on Instagram. She's already shaking her memories somewhere. So she's already making money doing this and this is just a supplement or maybe have some fun or maybe your girlfriend's talked into it but it's not really a living anymore see Mm -hmm. so there's a different mentality in the psyche when it comes to that so generations have changed um what what is the differences when it comes to girls because quite honestly from from an old school guy like me Mm -hmm. um if you were to tell me as a boyfriend or a husband i couldn't be in the club that my girlfriend worked at i'm kind of like girlfriend you can't work at this club because fuck that you understand what i'm saying but that was a long time ago i get the human trafficking um i didn't know it was as big as i guess people are saying that it really is now um but talk to me a little bit about that. Uh, the generational differences, the psyches, the what's that shift, and and how is that affecting you and your job? Because these are different breed of people now. Yeah. yeah. Well, what I see is, and, and you hit the nail right on the head, is that they they are able to make 
their money elsewhere from the safety of, of their couch, the from the safety hustle. of their bed. Yeah. And the side hustle is not even necessarily the side hustle anymore. The side hustle has it's become um, has become the, the main source okay. of income for, for some of the girls, and they are more willing. They're they're not they're not going to put up with things that our generation might have put up with mm-hmm. because this I you know I don't like this. It, it, did it cross my line? No. Do I would I like to walk away? Yes, but I need this job. Mm-hmm. I yeah. need this money. Whereas they can go out and, you know, I know a couple of girls. One is in like the point, point top point one percent of OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. And I tried and, to and, get and, her on too. And, 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 she's, and she's she's also beautiful. Yeah. She's that's, also just bubbly. That's Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. We're talking. We're talking the yeah. same. The Ooh. Ooh. redhead. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the Jessica yeah. Rabbit we didn't get into last time. You know, the yeah. unicorns and biting donkeys. But, um, but good for. I mean, but th- this younger generation, they're more, they're more open to doing the side hustles and getting, uh, you know, hey, so I have this, for example, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. She has her computer, and on this computer, one of her, her tech buddies put this, I don't know what it is, but it's it's something about with data and measuring or this and that, and you get paid a little bit every day, mm-hmm. and it runs 24-7 in the background. It makes her probably... About thirty seven hundred a year, thirty two hundred a year. Just by running, just data. by doing just by nothing. nothing. Yeah. You have this thing installed, and it just it, it examines yeah. A B C D whatever whatever it's looking at, and and some people. One guy told me, well, that's 30, that's only thirty seven hundred dollars. She's like, that's for doing nothing. That's a whole ass vacation. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean that's a whole yeah. you know thirty seven hundred bucks. I could have a pretty damn good vacation for thirty seven hundred bucks. It's, you know? it's wow. a side hustle on. It's just a. The, the the bonus that you don't think about it's the it's the change that you throw into the console it yeah. it's fantastic I, I don't I, I feel so bad for you guys how do you control these girls I'm, I'm sure they're in and out you know is there a family you know if you've got the if you've got the girl that's been there for a minute or um, the girl that bounces in and out you, you you're you're never going back yeah but there's another you that one day is gonna walk in there and go hey Big boss, you're still here. Remember me? Can I work as a waitress? Right. There's always a founding girl that's in there yeah. every once in a while, or a founding girl that's been in, or a girl that's been influenced by a founding girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you've got girls that basically like, I've got, I make better money doing X, Y, and Z. I don't need to listen to you. Now she, this this particular person, Jessica Rabbit, is is the um, exception to the rule. Okay. She's very smart has her boundaries, is very driven. Some, a, a lot of people, I mean, if, if it was easy, everybody, everybody would be would doing be. it. Right, 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 right. You know, right. it's it's like, you know, you look at hindsight, you look at like the, the, the Warren Buffetts or the, the, the Bezos or the Elon Musks, you know, it seems so simple what they've done. And sometimes it is, but it's the drive to fall on your face a hundred million times right. and, and you hit once. Yeah. And that's where, and and she has spent, and she danced for a long time, and but at the same time building up this customer the, 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 this base, customer and base, mm-hmm. and the rest of it, building up her OnlyFans, building up uh, this, that, and the other, and and just the way she presents, oh uh, yeah, differentiates she, herself she, from so many OnlyFans. She doesn't look channels. like any. She doesn't look like any other stripper in that club. Mm-hmm. She she has a unique personality. She talks to people. She's she talks highly of herself. You know, she she's not she's not a a dowdy stripper. She I is, get it. She's fantastic and, and I get it. More than the, likely she's a headliner. Yeah. And you know, and I get Almost, the psyche yeah, yeah. of a Very headliner. Much so. But what about yeah. the girl girls that are in the club? Not not just her, you yeah. know, but the other girls that are trying to do what she's doing. What about well, them? How how are they influencing the, the environment at the clubs, he says? Some you know, sometimes they you know, it's it it is difficult because there are days and it goes in cycles. Mm-hmm. Um there are days when I will have, on a Sunday day, I'll have 50 customers and I'll have three girls. Wow. Mm. And they just don't, and, and ever since, and back, you know, ever since they, everybody became independent contractors, they, you know, they don't have a set schedule. Mm-hmm. It is difficult to get them. Wow, no independent schedule. contractors now? Yep. Mm-hmm. yep they just don't. come in when you want to? Well, at... At, Between at certain at times. the time you have to be there. Wow. For the shift that you you have to be there for the shift that you want, and you also you also have to stay the whole shift. So you can come in if you want to come in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, cool, and pick up a Friday, cool. But you have to be be there on time and be ready to go on time. Okay, I get yeah. that because they don't they don't do um, a house fee. 
So it's one of the clubs at that, that place. Yeah, it's right. one okay. of the clubs that doesn't do a house fee, and so a lot of the girls they'll be very. But you need to be on stage. But you when, need to be on at stage the, at a certain right. time. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. I get that. And, and, and like I said, not all the girls are, are as driven as she is, and mm -hmm. others just don't. They don't want to. Work. Because it, it is it, it it is a lot of work for her mm -hmm. to be successful, uh, and there are, and, and to be sure there are others that, that do have OnlyFans are not near as successful as she is because they don't go through the, the presentation they they don't yeah. bother with the the background stuff you know the she's very um, put it out there she's very studious with her with her hygiene mm -hmm. um, you know if she has you know she got a pimple on her butt one day and and she says I can't film until this thing I'm not going to film until this thing goes away. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have that little presentation, whereas there are, there, are, there are others where they got a whole rash, and you're wondering, God, did you even bathe? <laughs> and they, they, they yeah, just yeah, ex yeah, expect right. it to, you're you know, right. because, I'm, because I'm a girl, I'm laying back, spreading my legs, throw money at me. Yeah. And, and, and people are more discerning than that, I think. Other guys will throw money at anything, but for the most part, to be successful, you have to be, there, there's work to anything. Nothing is easy. Right. right. I mean, this, you guys, have, well, since I've been here I for a down. year, you guys have done worked hard and leaps and bounds to... To, to build this up, you know, Thank baby you, baby steps one at a time, but still, you know, right. it's, it's it's getting better. So, and... how do you take care of your mental health in a chaotic club where everybody else is not taking care of their mental health? Like, the, you've got girls that are drinking, they're doing maybe allegedly other things, and and they're maybe they're bringing their outside in and their inside out. How do you protect your mental health as? A doorman in a strip club. Well, and that's that's gotten. I know we talked about this last time I was on. That the reasoning behind me becoming a doorman was to kind of back up and separate myself from that that fray. Walk out and get out of that hurricane, those hurricane winds. To go from cash negative, spending all my money, mm -hmm. to being cash positive and actually, you know, um, fucking smart, dude. Yeah, <laughs> great. but but to but to be breaking even to pay for that stripper addiction. Well, since then I've I've managed to. Um, even stop that so i'm actually you know I, I one weekend i think between the wednesday and the um sunday nights i think i walked with six five six hundred bucks cash positive and and, yeah. and, and coming back to that next sunday i still had f you know four or five hundred bucks in my pocket whereas before that would have all gone to drinking and strippers and and, and stuff like that so i think um staying mostly sober has helped Okay. Because yeah. the alcohol and the other stuff, uh, partying and, and stuff like that. Uh, but most times you just keep it to a dull roar and just take it day by day. Sometimes it gets to you, sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you if you took every if you took every dancer who who comes to you crying about every little thing, mm -hmm. if you took every little thing seriously, you kind of like the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have one now. She. Oh my she takes she has three drinks and she will cry about anything and oh then she, she but she can turn it on and off oh my and you see that so it's hard to you just kind of have to differentiate and hope you're you're on the right hard track. to discern whether or not she's fucking with you yeah or, whether, or she's, whether she's trying to manipulate the system and yeah you know this guy well this guy's not tipping so she'll make up something he did and you're they're right in front of you and you saw nothing happen but then she turns around and tells you this happened i said no it didn't because i was watching right you know, just to get him kicked out because he's not tipping. Um, yeah, she's able to very, very, very manipulative. Water works. Yeah. But as far as my mental health, it, it's still sometimes it's a struggle. But okay. I mean, life, it's it's no different right. than right. you that, keep it to a dull roar. It's, that's one of the reasons why we have this podcast is so we could talk to each other, bring, you know, bring our mental health up just a little bit in this yeah. trying times and, and have a great time. And then uh, so many people are listening, you know, people want to know what's going on. And it's like hanging out with your friends. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Shooting, the, shooting the shit. Yeah, shooting the shit about strippers. I'm catching you know? up, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. It, any uh, any stories that you got for us? So we talked about uh, the pink eye story. Oh yeah, we got it. You want? Can you divulge on the pink eye story? We want. We want to. Let's 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 let's, have, let's, have, let's have, catch everybody about up. This one already? Oh, uh, we talked about it off air. So. Oh, okay. Okay, well, well, good. Then well, we'll, yes. Well, we did. We did have it last season, but for those those just joining yeah. in, it's a it's a no. It's a, fuck it's a that. Hey, story. Y'all need to go back to season two and watch the old ones. But he can relive the, the, old... the pink eye. Okay. So <laughs> this, this this particular dancer, um, small, uh, not small, but you know, shorter. She's a smaller gal, uh, Ital full blooded Italian gal, uh, long brown curly hair, uh, 
just, I think they were blue. I want to say, I, I haven't seen her in, in a couple of years, but she had these blue eyes and just very, this very pretty. He remembers their eyes. He remembers their walk, too. Wow. Well, yeah. What? Yeah, you you like uh, the way that a woman walks sometimes, or the, the well, way that's, they... That's, that's a whole different story. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can <laughs> pick out ex-dancers from their asses, though. Sometimes I'll recognize girls I, from a distance and go, I know that girl from the ass. <laughs> it's just one of those things that... Yeah, you yeah. just you just file away. It's yeah. you know, ever lizard since, brains. Ever since you hit puberty, you, know, you file away in the spank bank. <laughs> the spank bank, love it. So anyway, and and speaking of asses, she was you know uh, a little a, a almost a not quite a B cup. Um, okay. Probably out of shoes, she's maybe five two. Okay. Maybe hundred like and five pounds, very petite. Mm. Um, with an but ass, she's with a, a, a great great ass. I mean. So, and, and this is when I was still spending money, and I, I just started working there, but I would still go in as, as a customer, get drunk, and, and lap dances and whatnot, and uh, put a dollar. She had a trick. She'd put a dollar on your nose and would sit here, and she would turn around, get up on stage, and grab that dollar with her cheeks. So I'm I sitting there. That. And, and, and this is a great thing about video because now we have visual aids, right? We can, right I don't right. have to describe it so much. I'm sitting there, you know, and I, I'm like this, and, the, and the, I've got a seal with a dollar relaxed. balanced on my nose. And she's up she's above me. She's, and she's coming down. She's coming down like this, right? Hmm. And lower and down. And, and, and come on, people, don't pretend you've never been there. Let's not, you know, <laughs> stick, stick I'm your nose right in, in, in an ass. You know, I mean, come on, let's be adults about it. We all have played in that in that particular sandbox, right? So she's coming down, and I hear the other manager, Mr. Slow, you're gonna get pink eye. <laughs> so I, I'm sitting there like this, and I'm just <laughs> flipping off, flipping the bird, and come on. So she grabs it. And, Pops it, pops it off, and we go about our business and, and doing lap dancing through the rest of the night. Fast forward to the <laughs> next morning, I wake up, and my eyes crusty. are goopy and crusty, <laughs> and I'm cussing him. I'm like, "You son of a bitch! Like, you you love love it. I fucking Talking. hate you." So anyway, being that, um, leading up to this, the same gal, same, <laughs> same, same lady, right? We take a trip to Vegas just about every year, whenever I can get away. We, me and Mr. Slow, and then and, and typically. He will invite a couple of people, mm -hmm. typically his, his his guy friends. Sometimes. And then people hear about it. Well, so, sometimes so, dancers. Sometimes girls. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Sometimes girls, but it's usually just a good bunch of people getting together, having fun in Vegas. Well, okay. Not always. There's only really been one girl that I know of that he has uh -huh. actually invited. Oh. Th that's Some of going. the other ones. Was well, it a yearly thing, thing though? Yeah. They they yeah. just kind of. No, that's cool. They yeah. just oh you guys are going to Vegas I want to go when are you going and they'll 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 you know, somebody will divulge you of the dates that we're going, and suddenly you've got a party, a big party. You got six <laughs> strippers coming, and you know, and, and the, the GM's mad because the girls are leaving, and you know, they, they won't be there to work. And, but anyway, right. So <laughs> this trip, it turned out that it was me, this this particular dancer, and Mr. Slow, just the three of us, because a couple other people kind of bounced out. And this this particular person, she's a sweetheart. She really she has a heart of gold. I, I really think she does. But uh, you know, life has dealt her some some hard blows, mm -hmm. and she has chosen some different paths. And she's just she's just a little off her rocker, little 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 sideways okay. in, in her thinking. I think, and you know, between the the alleged alleged drug use and, and the drinking, she's not thinking or hasn't hasn't thought clearly for a very very long time. So anyway, we, we go to Vegas, and we're, we're gambling, we're doing our thing, we're playing. She blows through all of her money in the first day. Fuck. Jeez. She's broke. Done. Does she have she's money broke. to get home? She did. She, well, she had, she had her ticket, and, and you know, and we're, we're not going to let her starve. We were only there for three days. Okay. Yeah. So okay. she only got, you know, it's only a couple of days to feed her to, you know, three or four or five times. Not a big deal. Get her a burger, you know. Yeah. yeah. Not, not a huge deal. But you can't play with us. <laughs> no, I mean, it just is what it is. You broke. Yeah, you broke. <laughs> So just prior to her ending all of her money, we all we go in and we play. Um, God, what's it called? Um, it's got the six. It's a black. It's blackjack, but with a wild, with with a, with a wild, uh, a wild card slot. Mm -hmm. Where if if you you can bet on the slot, and if you get a pair between between twos and nines, you can split them. Okay. And this side bet, I forget the name of it, but anyway, you have the side bet and you split it, and you get like ten to one. So if you were doing fifteen okay. bucks, it would be one hundred and fifty. And you, it's three to three to one, seven to one, ten to one. But you can split it so many times, and like you split it seven times, five or seven times, 
Is this a new it's, game? It's like I haven't heard of this. That's it's like, cool. like 3,000 to 1 odds. Wow. Off the side bet. Yeah. So anyway, we're playing, I get it. Yeah. We're, we're, we're playing that, and we're all three at the table. Me, me and Mr. Slow decide to bop out. We're going to, I think we're drunk. We're going to go play penny slots. You good? She says, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. We go play penny slots, yada, yada, yada. And we get done, you know, an hour or so hour or two into it Vegas time I don't know how long it was we were uh, over there. like 10 hours we, we go back to the table and she's gone no fucking clue where she's at oh wow and the, the dealer's like it could have been that long because we didn't switch dealers yet oh, okay. so it couldn't have been a whole shift because the same dealer was still there okay. your friend went that way so we walk we let's say hotel names uh, yeah. Okay. We, yeah. We, we, well, we're, we're not talking strip, or, uh, no, strip clubs. We're just talking uh, hotels, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we, we, yeah, we yeah, were yeah, yeah. we were staying yeah. at the Palazzo, so we walk out, and I see her walking out the main entrance, almost to the main entrance, to uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. Okay. Out to the yeah. strip. Doing what? She's just walking, and I scream her name. Hey, she turns around, looks at me, and promptly passes out. <gasps> oh my. Out in the middle, in front of God. Oh my. And okay. everybody. Okay. Like, so we get up to her, and Mr. Sills like, fuck, unbelievable. Okay. So, <laughs> what do I do? Fireman carry. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Captain Sabaho, pick her up. She's small enough. I can scoop right, her up right, and right. carry her like well, a baby. You could, you could scoop me up like that, yeah. and I'm a little thicker than that. Uh, yeah. It might take me a second, but anyway. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we're going back. Yeah. And, and I said, okay, let's, you know, let's just take her to the room, and then we'll go get something. We'll go get breakfast. No big deal. So I scoop her up, and she's hanging on and, you know, crying. Ooh. I don't know. She's muttering something in my ear. I don't know, but she's hugging on to me, and it's it slobber running down my shoulder. We get to the elevator. A security guard says, stop. It's okay. Do you know this woman? Yeah. yeah. Well, you, she's going to have to wake up, and you have to prove that. We need to make sure you're not trafficking oh. her, that you didn't just pick her up. Oh, wow. wow. Good on them. Yeah, it, that's very, yeah. I mean, at, at the time it was a very uh, annoying situation. Yeah, yeah but, but I get but on them. Yeah. hindsight, that's a good thing because yeah. they don't know us from Adam. Yeah. yeah, I know this girl, but this is some security guard. He, he sees he 10,000 yeah. people in a week. He doesn't right. know. Wow. And how, many, how many drunk people get hauled over their right. rooms and in he, Vegas? He probably watched her play at the table and then... Maybe or watched her walk by walk by herself, by. and suddenly and she's down, got two guys my size picking her up, yeah, carrying her into the into the room. Building, yeah. God yeah. knows what to this poor girl. Wow, you know? good on you. Yeah. So that's that's very good. That's very very awesome. So we get her set up. We got her wake up a little bit. Yeah, I'm with these guys. We get her get her name put on the room, and and this and that. Yeah, I did fly with them. They're my friends. So yeah. fast forward in the, in the elevator, pick her up, get in there, and um, she goes into this kind of manic, drunk, high state where she's hot and she's active and she's going to wash her face and get her makeup off, get to bed. She's running around naked in a tea bar doing her thing. Okay, whatever. Just yeah, I've seen that do, do, do your thing. Yeah. Okay, you're going to be good. We're going to go down and get breakfast. We'll be back in 20, 25 minutes. Don't you're good. move. You're good. Stay. I'm fine. I'm Don't good. go anywhere. I'm good. I get her tucked in. Mm -hmm. Gets her on her forehead. Captain Sabo. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Back up. We're, I'm Never ca learned, I'm, 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 I'm carrying this broad. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're not, we haven't hit security yet. Mr. Slow is behind me singing the Superman theme. Because I, I put on my superhero cape, Captain Sable. Da -da 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 yeah. At top of his lungs, and people are fucking dying, laughing, and cracking up. So, okay. Back to the room. Tucked in. Kiss her on her forehead. Away we go. Yeah. We got back in 22 minutes. Went downstairs, grabbed a bite to eat. Back up. Told her 20, 25 minutes. We'll be back. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. 22 minutes. I'm Bob Long. I'm tired. I'm drunk as shit. I'm looking at the floor, checking out the carpet. And I hear, fuck. What? He points. There's a security guard holding our door open. Ah, the hotel shit. room. Oh, man. There was three hotel security. Ah, fuck. Three Las Vegas PD. That's awesome. Two Clark County sheriffs. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh, we had... Um, they have, uh, in these hotels, they have, um, and it's actually a good thing you can die if you're having mental health problems. Mm -hmm. They have a therapist or somebody on staff to no, be able to, cool. to, be able to talk too. you down. Right. Yeah. They were there. Um, Make and sure they, you don't jump out of the fucking building. Yeah. Well, you can't because the, the windows are. Yeah, they seal the, build, the windows they did, now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Back in yeah. the day, people used to jump out of yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, just, just head out. Uh, and then there was uh, uh, three EMS. 
So we had three, six, uh, nine, uh, about, yeah, 12, about 12 people in, in the people. room. It sounds expensive. She had evidently hit the button. Help, help, help. Because in that 22 minutes, help, help, help. I hate. <laughs> So they, they, um, she was going in and out. And she'd wake up and be lucid, and then she would just pass back out. Or, or and touch the button. Yeah. So they came up and got her, and, and ended up taking her to um, a, a seventy-two hour, or is it twenty-four or forty-eight? A hold. It was a psych hold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put put her on put her on put her on a psych hold. So uh, and we went. Let us know what hospital you're taking her at. We'll come get her when she's ready to go. I love she crazy can, she can call. stories. I totally believe this. So yeah. I, I've yeah. seen this kind of shit happen. Yeah. Yeah. And so she, um, off she went. We we got some sleep and went went and picked her up. Uh, <laughs> funny thing is, is she passed out. They got her, you know, checked in. And as she was coming out of her stupor and sobering up and, and being awake in, in the hospital room, how the fuck did I get here? There was another... Uh, another patient there this is her telling the story now that was you're so pretty touching her hair and the nurse is like no 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 you stay away from her <laughs> because you are pretty she wants what you have yeah. she will try to take your eyes out of your oh eyes. shit she I'm will, she, she, she like will try to suit. she will try to and take you're your sitting hair there just oh wow Don't you say she wake, wakes Wake, up to this. yeah waking up to getting your mind in the right set and then there's just somebody so pretty. So nice. <laughs> yeah, just the weirdest <laughs> shit. So that, that's 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 the Vegas story. Oh um, man. Yeah. yeah we, we won't talk about what happened at uh, what happened at McCarran because that involves flying across state lines and we don't want to divulge <laughs> the alleged incidents. Yeah. <laughs> and we, won't, we won't talk about any of that. And it really keeps you on your toes when you're dealing Crazy with other people's stories. Yeah. Stories, you know, and every everybody else's stuff. Um you know, that really, I mean, that could really take take a grip on you if you're invested in to a lovely lady because she is beautiful or because mm -hmm. something's going on with her. And then you, I mean, you, you're a doorman, so you're not even, like, dating any of these women but they're yeah. they're using you as if they were dating you they're they're using you for your time and your effort and sure. stuff like that yeah like how but he knows that he, yeah because but they feel like, as though they're playing him yeah they feel like but he knows that, that that they think that they're playing him <laughs> yeah I, you know I, I think the biggest one of the biggest habits that is, is irritating is people will and this i think this happens across the board across mm -hmm. industries but mm -hmm. i think it's highlighted in our in our world in our industry right this fantasy where people will i'm your friend yes as long as i need something yeah they will come in walk into your life and they will pick you know i will hey mr jenny this little bit here like like i'm some like i'm a fucking chinese buffet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then leave the rest mm -hmm. you know once they're full they don't need it anymore now oh, you're done you go you'll Go pound disposable, sand. basically. Disposable friendship. The, 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 the buffet friendship. Yeah. yeah. The buffet friends. Oh, that's and good. They're, they're more acquaintances, and, and it's been, uh, I, I tend to believe good in people, mm -hmm. but that's been a, a lesson, a hard lesson learned to mm -hmm. be skeptical of, of people, and they really don't. They're very, very few and far between that will come running. Right. Or that even um, trust you being in the same hotel room as them. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a lot of trust that yeah. she had in you and Mr. Slow being able to share a hotel room together. Yeah. 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 And like, she, I mean, she she came back and and, and, yeah. and passed out that last night, and we slept right here. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, she was snoring. It was so fucking. Good. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> they recorded her snoring. <laughs> but that was it. I mean, nothing yeah. else happened. Nothing yeah. else. No, I'm, I'm, you yeah. know, I'm not that guy. No, no, you, know, you guys yeah. are good guys, though. Yeah. We're not, we're yeah. not gonna. She's still kind of fucked go, up go down tonight, down. though. But you, she got you a great story. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's it's fun to poke Mr. Slow with that because that's one of his irritating. He doesn't irritating, like snorry slippers. It's just snorry strippers. Well, not not ones that end up with you know 15 <laughs> personnel in eyes the room. Eyes on the room. Yeah. You know, yeah. eyes on the room. So and it's you know it's his name on the room and yeah. You know, yeah. stuff like that. Oh man, that's crazy. That's fun yeah. shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It yeah. was good stuff. But she's <laughs> she's actually she can never come back. She can never come back to the club. Oh wow. Allegedly I wasn't there, but allegedly tried to pass off uh, fake hunters. Ah, oh, was, was put up to that. Up. And, and they weren't even good copy. They they weren't they're not even any good. Oh, they weren't even good. You can yeah. see them coming a mile off. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. I mean it's, it looks like monopoly money. Oh fuck. You know, so uh, and that and that that's desperation, and that when that happens in the club, uh, 
everybody knows. Everybody knows, like, like the whispers go, hey, watch, watch your money. Make sure you check your money for yeah. fake bills because the club's not going to reimburse you if you happen to take a fake bill. Yeah. You're out. But if you do get a fake bill, make sure you remember who you got it from. Yeah. And you got to say stuff because, like, like a fake 20, a girl, if, if she is scammy or she knows she's not going to get her, her money from that 20, she'll scam somebody else. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just a perpetual kind of douchebaggery. Yeah, and, yeah. and, like, the waitresses in the bar and the doorman, we're all trying to figure out where the fake 20 came from. Right. And then you got one girl trying to pass it off to somebody else, and you're like, where did you get this? And that, and she, a lot of like the the swing dancers, they won't care. They won't care that they're coming into a club and they and, have and fake, passing off passing fake off. money. No, I, I get yeah, you. They, they won't yeah, care. The that, that's just yeah. funny to me. It's a very interesting conversation because like, I've never really experienced that experienced that at all as a male dancer. Or we don't even get fake the money. Company? It doesn't happen. We don't, never, we don't get fake. You money. never had fake money at the company. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. But I handled the money, the payments, right. or one of my representative. They, yeah, we handled the, the money when yeah. it came to the show payment. So yeah. it was use a credit card, check, check. I know. Yeah, I know yeah. Exactly. We're all, yeah. <laughs> um, we get it. <laughs> or, or cash. And, yeah. and you know, a, a number of us had handled money for so long that we knew the differences yeah. in money. Now, when it came to girls getting tipped, some of the girls did get fake money coming in. You know, and usually I, because when they say to me, hey, is this bill kind of fucked up? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fucked up. You it's get a bad one. It happens, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, that's how I kind of looked at it. So, But I've never really experienced um, even the question of a girl come in, coming in specifically your business to get yeah. fake money out. Yeah. You know, that's kind of fucked up. I, I think she had uh, outside influence. Yeah. Pushing her to, to do that. Um, she's a sweet girl, but not smart enough to run a scam to try to come up with a scam like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I mean, she she did. I don't know if she still does, but she, at, at the time, uh, according to her, what she had told me is is that her her boyfriend slash whatever he was is not a very mm. nice yeah. person, not a very good person. And that's hard interaction. to break. That's hard to break. To out break of out of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, that's. It, I mean, she, she's one of those that thinks I, that she doesn't deserve any better. Oh, she's that's, really, sad. that's She's got a real heartbreaking story yeah. that yeah. she her self esteem is so far low that you know, and, and she really is very very sweet. Very especially when she's sober, she's you know yeah. pretty, pretty smart. She's you know uh, sweet, beautiful, very kind hearted, very tender hearted. And that sometimes but, the 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 atmosphere will just chew up your mental health and spit you out. It's, yeah, it can really unless you're either. You have a strong, strong will, or you know, strong constitution. You've got to be able to navigate those, and that's why some of some of us don't make it very long. Mm -hmm. That's why you mm -hmm. know that tr it's not even just the beauty part. It's the are you able to handle the tide? Can you handle the alcohol? Can you handle the other? Can you handle people's personal judgments of you? And yeah. and these are people that are taking off the clothes, but. You're somebody who doesn't have to take off your clothes. You're just handling it right there in the face mm -hmm. with men and women and and all of this other stuff. Yeah. Well, we had the other night. I had a, a client come in, and it was a couple, and and the lady. They were. You could tell they've been drinking, but they were okay. You know, they were still walking upright and and uh, you know walking straight, and you know still they weren't drunk enough to ride it to turn them away. It says you need the lady tells me, you need not be so serious. <laughs> like telling Why? a woman how to smile. Yeah. You, you, you'd be prettier mm -hmm. if you smile. You need to not be serious, Steve. Well, she says, you need to smile. I said, I, I, it's not, that's not, I'm not the one you're paying to be nice. Yeah. I, I'm right? The tell. Oh, if, God if, damn, that's good. If you want nice, you go, go, talk to the, go talk to the dancers. Yeah. You talk to the waitress, you talk to the bartender. That's you want nice. Yeah. If you have to come to, if you, if you have to talk to me, it's too late. I'm the cautionary tale. Yeah. I don't get paid to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You the gorilla in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck around. It is what it is. No, man. I get yeah. it, though. God, hey. these mugs are huge. I know. I know, right? These are great. And we're going to get the names of the show etched I love in the sign. Yeah, 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 I love, I love them. them. We're awesome. going to put the next fun stage one on these. And then uh, the next time you come back, because we're going to make you come back, we're going to... We're gonna I know, right? Every, she just... Every yeah, season, come back. Good, every season you'll just have more stories for us. Uh, we're we're going to have mugs to give to who comes on the show. Oh, nice. And then it'll nice. be our... It'll be one of our things that, you know, our merch that is in-house merch that we can give away. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. And yeah. so. Yeah.
Ka-ching. Ka-ching. All right, I'm always about the Benjamins. Hey, let me ask you this. Has yes. anyone ever tried to fight you off of something that was obviously illegal, like passing, you know, fake money, money through um, the drug dealers that, that sit in the background and give the, the first free hit to the girls and try to get them? You, Because we all know who those guys are. Yeah. You know? um, has, everybody, has anybody ever tried to come at you specifically? For taking their ID, you know, you confront them about fake bills. Um, they know they're in the wrong. You got them. No, hmm. no. I, I did one, one poor kid, one poor guy, and it was it was a Colorado ID, and I I, sp- I didn't even have to put it under the black light. So they keep a, I, we keep a black light next to the um, the cash, age. The cash yeah. register, so because because your ID will glow in a certain way. They all do, from right. Mexico to Panama to the passports from Europe. Everybody has their own little glowy stamp in there that people don't know about, right? Right. Right, and right, in this right. Colorado ID, I mean, the the um, he obviously spent a, a chunk of money on it. Didn't spend near enough <laughs> because the fonts were different. The letters were <laughs> a couple of letters were skewed. It was just enough to where you could tell, yeah, it doesn't look right. Took it from him, and I thought he was going to start crying. Oh, that's fucking He's great. Yeah. Probably nineteen. You know, may not necessarily be here legally, but but he thinks he's got to go. Give him my ID back. No, you can't have it back. No, no legal, legal, it's, legal, number one, it's not yours because it's illegal. You know, it's fake. Yeah. And number two, legally, I have to turn it over to the cops. Yeah. I yeah, have totally. to give this here. Here is this. And Sorry. He just, Sucks. And he argued about it. And I said, dude, just please just leave. It's either me or the police. Yeah, right. And as soon as I said yeah. that, he was like, shit. Mm. Poor, 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 poor little guy. You know, I, mean, I thought he was going to start crying. But it that, sucks, but you got to kind of, hey, that happens, man. It happens. Yeah. You got busted. You, you, you tangled with a professional. You tried. It was fake. No, I don't know. It worked. You wouldn't call me a professional. More of a, a How many hobbyist. IDs do you see every day when you're working? On, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a busy one, 100, between 100 and 200. Yeah. I, that, you do, you've done that for more than how many? No, how it's professional work. No, it seriously yeah, is. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah. You could spot a fake, just like you could spot a fake dollar bill. Oh, yeah. 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 So. The, well, you, people that work with the stuff, we know the stuff, you know, because yeah. we handle it every day. Oh, yeah. 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 I, have a, I have a story about a fake um, bill. You do? Yeah, but it wasn't when I was a stripper. It was oh. when, I, when I worked at a hotel. I was a house cleaning for a hotel um, a couple of years ago, and I get... We all get different floors that we're trying to go in. We're, we're cleaning up the rooms. We're resetting for the next people. And Were you go, a maid? I was a maid. Okay, yeah. got it. So, so I'm going in and I'm cleaning. And if there's any money left on like the nightstand or anything. That's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's how you leave tips. Yeah, it's yeah. a tip. Yeah. That's that's all it, it, that goes way back. Yeah. 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 Happens all the time. So as soon as I come in the room, I see it. I see it across over there by the bed. I'm like, oh, somebody left me a tip. I'm really excited. And as I get closer, oh, it's a hundred dollar bill. Oh shit! Oh my god! Uh, somebody left me a hundred dollar bill. That's awesome! I, I tell I tell the other girl that's working across at the other room, and she's excited because I was like, you know what? I'll buy us all lunch. We've had a hard day, and mm. I'm gonna buy us lunch. I'm excited. I take the money. I you were so bucket. excited, I, weren't you? I, I clean the room. I get it all set up for the next people. I check out the room. I move on to the next. We get downstairs, and I, I show. I was like, oh, I, I pull it out of my pocket. I'm looking at it. It feels real. It looks real. Until I pass it over to my friend, and she goes, "Oh, this, this is a little. It's a little different." She passes it back. I was like, "No, no, no, no! Can't, can't be, can't be, can't be, it's, can't, fine. Can't, yeah. it's, 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 it's a real bill." And I pick it up and I look at it, and across the sink, the top of it, where it's a hundred dollar bill, it says, "For movie purposes only." Oh, one of those. It's a movie hundred dollar oh. bill. Oh. <laughs> You kept that. I'm hoping you kept it, right? I, if I did, it's somewhere in my house. Wow. And I promised all of the ladies food for the day because we hadn't Mm -hmm. ate. We were so busy. We were trying to get this one whole floor done. Right. Cleaned. Um, and 
I was just so mad. See, and I'm sorry. I went I went left field with your story because I figured eventually you're going to come to the part where they have the little message on the side. Wait, if you want to, you know, the message on the bill itself. Yeah, this it, is it, the, it was right in the um the curve part over Benjamin Franklin. Okay, okay. Looked, you it, got a movie prop though, and not one of those dollar. bullshit advertisements. Yeah, it yeah, looked yeah. exactly. You, you know what I mean. On yeah. the yeah. front and on the back, it had the feel and everything to it. I hope you it, kept that. I I think it's there at the house yeah. somewhere. And. But, but back then, you're like, hey, let's go out. Oh, shit, this no, is I fake. Wasn't, I wasn't going to go out. I was just going to order food for us there. That way we didn't have to go anywhere. Oh, we fuck. could just, right on. You're you such know. a nice yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was excited and then dashed my hopes. Because when you get tipped something like that or you find money on the floor yeah, totally. all of the time, mm. there's that little part of you that goes, oh, God, I hope this is real. And you just kind of grab it, you stuff it in your pocket, and you go. And I'll look yeah. at it some other place, just in case <laughs> it has fallen out of somebody oh, else's pocket. Oh, God damn, you're fucked up. Anyway, go on. Well, yeah. Well, hey, floor dollars are my dollars, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, she she will hip check you. She tried to hip check you for a dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, she's tried to do it to me and, and bounced off. Because we spotted the same dollar bill. Because right? And she's coming sure. this way, we're, and it's like the Wild West stand up. <laughs> 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 And we both go for it. She tries to hip check, and nah, it doesn't work. Nah, yeah. it's like uh, uh, linebacker so, versus uh, uh, Hobbit. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you're finding money on the floor, you got to be quick and you got to be smooth about it. You either have to step on it, slide it, mm -hmm. pick, drop your uh, your cleaning rag for the table on top of it. You do that? Oh yeah. Yeah, Go on. I've seen I've seen these him, Mr. Slow, pick up money like it's nothing. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, closer next time. Next But time. if somebody around me said or if I see a guy you know walking away, okay. I'll go, yeah, yeah, hey dude, it, you might have dropped some yes, money. Yes, but found money's found money. Found money. Found you know, money. Now, if I will see it. Now if yeah. I see somebody drop around. it, I will pick it up and take it to them. Yeah. Right. If I know that it's cause it's not mine. But you know, by right by the front door, these guys come in. They were too drunk. They couldn't. Yeah. They yeah. I couldn't let them in. Yeah, looking to the wall. They was, accidentally yeah. dropped a fifty. Until yeah. it was a twenty. There but they go. were gone. So I picked up the twenty. Went out in the parking lot. They're Nobody. gone. I tried. Yeah. In the pocket it went. Yeah. You know. So <laughs> that that just, shit, man. But if if there's two people that are really good at spotting, I I can spot money all. Change it doesn't even matter. Something shiny, I find earrings. Oh, that's stuff. bullshit! I, because there are rules that shit, Pixie. So, so one time I did find a men's diamond ring. Ooh! In the strip club, it was just like a band, like like Steve's wearing on his hand, but it was all black and it had three diamonds. And I mean, bigger than my engagement ring from Big D. Okay. I found it. And I was all like, And did oh. you did another girl see it at the same nope. time you saw it? Nope, nope, nope. Just you, had, you saw just it. Just me. I okay. picked it up and I said, hey, Mr. Slow, uh, this looks important. I don't know whose it is. Right. I, I didn't ask I didn't ask anybody because I don't want to just randomly ask strangers, did you lose this diamond ring? Yeah, true. Yeah. Somebody's going to be yes. No. No. Yes, yes. Yeah, so no, like so instead of me doing that, I, because I'm sure I find all kinds of stuff. That's why I'm a fucking pixie. I said, here, here, Mr. Slow, why don't you take this and hold on to it? I don't know whose it is. It's obviously not mine. Obviously, I don't know where the fuck it came from. Yeah. But because it was of a a very nice, high quality, oh, even if it was a cheap, like my, my ring is uh, titanium. I bought it off of eBay for like $5, you know, because I lose rings all the time. Uh, I know that's another story. Yeah, I know. I, A B C xylophone. Xylophone. Yeah, okay. So, so I turned it into <laughs> to Mr. Slow, and you know, I don't even know if the person ever picked it up. Um, I didn't really ask. It wasn't mine, but yeah, I'll I'll turn in all kinds of stupid shit all of the time. You're such a good person. Well, but there, there, there's a, there's a difference between something that can be identified by the by an owner, mm -hmm. by the person yeah. who owns it. Right. Of versus a, dollar. a twenty dollar bill. Yeah. Right. Anybody can drop a yeah. dollar bill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what, what Sorry. Did you, what did your twenty dollar bill look like? Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> versus hey, what, right. what did, did this look, ring like look like? This. Right. Yeah, I mean, well, it this sure a, did. Right. This is a this is a, a find. Oh, I like that. It, it's it sat in the drawer. Oh, that's for pretty. For six months. Oh yeah. See, and that's fair. And, we used to do that at the restaurants. You know, we'll keep it long enough for you know somebody to come back because they'll they'll realize they lost it. Somebody took their wedding ring off Peggy Bundy and lost it down Tarzan. And you remember that episode? I remember that episode. Yeah. 
Yes. But it's kind of your fault, honestly. You're in a titty bar. Mm -hmm. Own up to that, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to go home smelling like stripper, okay? If Glitter. you take off your ring. <laughs> stripper herpes. Um, mm -hmm. If you take off your ring, you might lose it. That's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it in the car, dumbass. Yeah. Think, think things through. Or yeah. don't take it off at all because it don't matter whether you're married or not. You're your, not your chances of taking home a stripper without paying yeah, her, yeah. allegedly paying her yeah. thousands of dollars is nil. I mean, you got right. might as well just leave your ring on. Do your thing and, and roll on with your day. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just these kind of stories, those are probably highlights of what you go through with your ups and downs of being yeah. in there. Yeah. And, I mean, there, there's a ton. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling through my head as to, um, uh, you know, some of the some of the things. And it's just, it, it's there's, there's stuff that happens on a daily, but it's kind of almost, not kind of, it's, it's almost like background noise. Oh, because it's yeah. just this stuff that is is par for the course, you know the 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 the, the, the drunk guy who's too drunk stumbling mm -hmm. around throwing. Okay. That's yeah. you know that's that's background. It happens every day. Happens all the time. It's just it's not it, to, it's to, becoming, to the normie. It's becoming white noise. Is yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, to me. Yeah. Now to the normie, this seems e e extraordinary and e extra, right. really extra. Right. But it's 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 par for the course in, in the industry. It's every day for you. Yeah. It's yeah. just you know throwing guys out because they're too drunk or. Okay, go. Does anything shock you anymore? Um, I do get shocked. Am I surprised? No. <laughs> no. no I, Good it's, answer. It's just, yeah, I mean, there there are things I go, holy shit. You know, what what are you thinking? You know, but no, right. to to be to be taken by surprise anymore. I don't. Yeah. It, 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 what does shock me is that um, it's only taken three years to be desensitized that far. To, to the to the insanity, um, right. you know, like like yeah. listening to to the podcast, I, I you know just to kind of get the juices flowing again and some stories going. I listen to the season two podcasts, yeah. my own, and because uh, I like I, I do like to hear myself. Speak. It's a good show, I, dude. I, I, I keep I, saying I, I, you I need like to have to, your I, own podcast. I, I, I like to hear myself speak. I'm, I'm gonna keep pressuring you to start you your own great podcast. Voice, yeah. Thank you. Anyway, yeah. Go on. But um, just listening to these stories, I'm like. This is just a wild, crazy shit. You know, people just yeah. don't, you know. And it's normal. It's just it's it's, 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 yeah, it's a day, it's a, it's like it's a day in the yeah. life. Yeah, it, it really it's it's a day it's a day in the life. You know. Wow, perspectives, dude. Very much. Because he's right. Yeah. Wow. How long do you think you uh, want to stay in the industry? I think what's killing me is 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 the two jobs. I'm still doing. Oh, okay, I'm still yeah. doing the two jobs. I know. Last time we talked about, it, I was waffling. Back and forth as to you know, hey, what, 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 where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Right. Do I want to take take that logical course, um, or do I want to just dive back into the in the comfort zone? Okay. Um, I I think my my career in in the in the industry does have an expiration date. Mm -hmm. It does not. It's not been set. Um, Are you tired yet? I, I I I'm I'm very tired of it. But I think part of that is also to the fact that, you know, like Sunday, I will work Sunday day, mm -hmm. Sunday night, sleep two hours, get up, go to my day job. So by, you know, by Sunday night, You're by Monday night, I'm, 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 I'm a zombie. Yeah. Turn around, work Tuesday, sleep Tuesday night, do Wednesday, my day job, Wednesday night at the club, and then Thursday is my sleeping day. So that leaves me Tuesday, Friday and Saturday as the, the, those two evenings and then that day to do anything, to, right. do, to do stuff like this. Um, right. I, I, I'm really, I, I don't yeah, know. You're starting, you're starting to wear thin. You're getting older. I mean, yeah, I know I mean, what I should. Yeah. I, I'm doing the same thing now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoy the time off. There are things that I can, I can do to, to where I don't need this money because I've, I've cut the strippers out. I've cut the, a lot of the drinking out. I, I drank yesterday for, I think more than two beers for the first time in four months. And I, I regret it. I'm regretting it. I really, it's, it, it doesn't it doesn't appeal to me anymore. Mm -hmm. that's, you know, I got that's other like stuff me. to do. I after after leaving the club, I greatly reduced the amount of alcohol I was drinking. When I go in to see Becky at the bar where she's at, that's the, my old bartender. Yeah, do you drink as much as you, no, you used to? Do you no, think that's part I, partly because of age? You think we're just no, I we're think getting I, to be old now. I think I just it, there's no thrill for it for me anymore. Like I'll drink one or two drinks, or I'll, or I'll drink a drink at home because uh, I got a wild hair up my butt. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. But I don't. 
I don't want, I don't have that want or need to drink. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I was a, a huge social drinker, Yeah. but I wasn't like, I wasn't an alcoholic. I just, no, yeah, no, it wasn't right. the same. We, yeah, we've so, talked about this. And yeah. so because I was, at, when I quit, I, everything sort of changed and I was like, okay, I don't, I don't need to, I don't want to go. No, well, you're not part of the life anymore. Yeah. So it, it's. Yeah. I mean, I just, the, that 12 pack, remember we went camping? Yeah. Big D. And that 12 pack of, of uh, Sam Adams I had, yeah. I just recently threw that away. Oh, wow. Yeah. And See? Like a month ago. And so how do, how do you take care of your mental health? How do you, what are you doing now to make sure that the, the remaining time in the strip club is as, you know, healthy as you can provide for yourself without like, flipping tables and like <laughs> going left on people because yeah. i mean strippers that it's like cats on acid like you said yeah it, I mean, bitches just, are crazy and, and, and yo are, bitches are crazy yeah they they are i you know and i i have i have mental health issues anyway mm -hmm. and depression and 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 stuff like that unmedicated i said i don't i won't do pills mm -hmm. I, I just i can't uh, they leave me too flat i, I don't i don't want the medication i'm, I'm doing okay i i, I try to maintain just the, the simple things, yeah. uh, like a diet, um, and you know, and we're not talking like to lose weight or whatever. But my vegetables, I you know, do take my vitamins. I drink. You also make a lot of food. You're a, yeah, yeah. You're a, a, a home chef. Yeah, that's will. that's that's my yeah. my catharsis. I got I got my knives. If you saw it on yeah on on uh, FB, you know, I got my knife, my you know the knives I wanted, and you know I've got a eye on a, on a few other kitchen gadgets that I want mm. you know save up for and buy those. But just by, you know, making sure I drink enough water, I eat my vegetables. I know that's a bad word in this house, but <laughs> Mr. Not J. Bad. <laughs> but, hey. but to, you know, that, that proper diet, I think the biggest thing has been to, um, to make sure I drink enough water. Um, I, you know, I, I take care of myself physically with, with my back and my knees. And, you mm -hmm. know, I have a chiropractor I go to for, for the holistic okay. healing, I, you know, and just do my stretches and get your body to, to have those natural defenses. Because when you're full of endorphins... Yeah. You know, things tend to, tend to, you know, the, the proper brain chemicals, things tend to not ignite you so, so quickly. Okay. And, the, and, and that's how that goes because there's really, there really is nothing you can do in the club if you are going in. I think we talked about this last time. If you go in looking to fight mm -hmm. or you go in putting off this aura, challenging aura, you're going to find somebody to take you up on it every single day. Yeah. That's yeah. just, that's just the way it is. So just to maintain that and it does some of these stories that some some of the other guys have told me some of the other door guys from other clubs um i just haven't had it happen yet mm -hmm. i think you know where you know you just i don't know people don't poke you as much as they poke some other people <laughs> yeah I mean, it's just yeah do you know any of those crazy stories from other door guys? You talk to guys in the industry. Anything, anything off the wall? No, we really don't. They they come in and drink, and and we you know we don't. You don't share see. stories about? No, not, not not so much. Oh, dude, this maybe, sucks. Maybe, maybe I'm different. Maybe it's because I typically only work one night or one or two nights a week. Okay. You know where these guys, other guys are working four, five, six nights a week. Yeah. Where they, they it's, it's pure pure volume. You know. This but, sucks that you're not able to compare stories though. Yeah, it's just some crazy shit. I'm sure they've yeah. seen some crazy shit too. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but there again, when when they do come in, it's it's not like I I don't we don't hang out when they do come into the club. I'm working, and they're drinking. Yeah. So there's that. There's you don't have that any. Disconnect. You don't have any customers that come over to your station and just hang out and talk to you all night. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes, but a lot of them are strippers though. No, I get that. Yeah, you know, a lot of our strippers. The, the the difference is between um, work me and social me. Mm -hmm. If I'm working, I don't I don't want to socialize. I don't want to. I've, I've got things to do. Okay, you know, I really do. I got to. We got stuff to do. Yeah. Oh, okay, I get that. All right, yeah. I get yeah, that. Yeah. So. All right. Ah, yeah. So you but, just got to take care of yourself for the next couple of years if you want to stay in the business and. Yeah. Yeah. Were you signaling me? No, no. you're scratching. No, she's scratching. I was bringing in my mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you make think sure um, it's nice and uh, Fu Manchu-y. Are there only a, a, a couple, what, two handfuls of clubs left in Denver? I think. Isn't Maxim gone at this point? Paper Tiger. It burned. Yep. It burned. burned. It's gone, yeah, that right? building burned. Oasis is gone. Oasis is Oasis gone. Oasis has been gone a while. Yeah. 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 So. What do you think about the future of it? You think adult entertainment when it comes to the striptease perspective? 
the little winky dink bars that everybody knows your name and we go habitually. Yeah. What do you think? I, you know, I, there, there's been so many disappear and, and, and come back up. There was, uh, it was, it was on uh, 29th and Sheridan. It was a little hole in the wall bar, you know, and it was the same as it's called the rustic. Okay. The rustic. It was just east of Sheridan on 29th. Mm -hmm. and it was, I mean, it, it was one of those places that they didn't even take credit cards. Wow. The, 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 it, within the last two years of their, they were cash only. Okay. And and you, I think the last two or three years they were in business, they finally got an ATM. Damn, otherwise, okay. otherwise you had to go, <laughs> you had to go down to the corner to, to the convenience store to use the ATM and come back That's for the cash. That's fucking ghetto, dude. I love it. Great. But, but I mean, it, you know, they, they'd been there for 50, 60 years, had the beautiful top and then stuff like that. It's unfortunate. I think a lot of these clubs like, like ours um, are going the way of the dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. just really... It's a. It's also an older thinking of running a club. Yeah. Like the, the mm. management that does run that club. It, it's a good club, uh, good people, but it's... But shouldn't we keep elements of the past as we progress into the future? That's yes, what our generation but, did for us. Um, if your only idea of marketing is handing out business cards... Mm. And that's it. You don't do any other marketing. You're not bringing any fresh, younger people into the club, and and eventually your customer base gets old and, and then dies they, off. Yeah, huh? you know it's hard. Literally. Literally, yeah. And, fig and figuratively. Yeah. I think I think you're right, Jay. Is that we we do everybody could benefit from from listening to to the generation before. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think that a lot of this generation is so, they're almost too money driven, mm -hmm. almost too driven by possessions, too, it's, that, that's how you are um, perceived and judged, and that's in turn how you perceive and judge yourself, is by how much stuff you have, how much money you have, how much, you know, um, and I, for the life of me, I cannot imagine how they got popular or even had a flash in the pan are the, uh, the 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 island boys? Oh gosh! Oh, with the, what the I, I, I can't know. keep up you know, with, with this. With the hair yes, and, and yeah, I, I've uh, seen it. I just I, I don't. They're Ooh, not. They're, they're, they're not, interesting. They are, and, and they they do have a, a different perspective and different. But they're not bringing any new stuff to the table. It's just rehashing and remaking yeah. the, the same old stuff. But like I said, I think you're right. The older generation does have something to to pass forward. There is a lot of value. Yeah, but. The younger generation has to be willing to listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think we have, not all, not even a major percentage, but we, there is a big percentage of this younger generation that they don't know what they don't know. Yeah. And that makes them a very, very dangerous. They think, you know, the, you know it's like the, the, the socialism, the, you take any headline in the news, except for, you know, like the, 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 the pandemic and, and, and COVID and stuff like that. Well, you could even, even COVID, you, there's a lot of similarities to the, the Spanish flu of 1918. Mm -hmm. Humanity has been along these spots before, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of stuff that's coming out of the, out of the, 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 the DC circus, you know, is, has been done before. Yeah, too bad we don't get topical here. We don't here, get topical um, here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just, but, that's as far as but, I wanted to go with it, but, yeah. but, but it's, but yeah. it's been done before. It's uh -huh. been, you know, it's, and, and and you know, it's interesting that saying um, those who don't remember the past are doomed to repeat, uh, repeat it. And, and honestly, mm -hmm. I, I'm beginning to think that 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 was more of a warning than just a, a pithy saying. And it's like, uh, very much. Yeah, I've done this shit before. Yeah, yeah. it has happened. And it I, will happen I, again. Yeah. I think the the way to make sure that that dinosaur strip clubs that we have remain in business is that. Um, gotta you got to step up. Start going? No, well, if you can, and if you want to, well, people used to do that. We used to, when somebody turned a certain age, the, yeah, that the, was kind of a, the men get together and they a milestone. Go, to the, go to the club. They Fathers don't do take that. their sons to go see their first titties when they turn, you know, 18 to 21, depending on they don't on do that which anymore. Are, you know? you go, Every, yeah. Everything's online now. A lot of stuff is very accessible. It's no longer flashy or... Are people watching sports anymore? Because I know sports were, was a big draw of a titty bar. You get to see sports and titties. Yeah, we, we do. So I mean, we, we, sports we have the TVs. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. we, yeah. I think, um, I mean, for, for my personal perspective, I, I could give a shit less about... I mean, I was on the fence about professional athletes anyway, but I could, <laughs> I could give a shit less about professional sports. Mm. Yeah. That's my personal, personal perspective. Now, there are people who... They do. They'll, they'll come in, hang out with their favorite dancer... 
drink a beer, have buy her shots, and watch the game. Talk yeah. about the betting and you know the the sports book because that's legal here in Colorado. You know, and that's right. Is that we it? can do do all this stuff. And yeah, it is. It's not. I don't think it's necessarily the the, the biggest draw, um, but it is. We do get some regular customers in. Um, like I said, I think the the marketing could could be done better. You know, the online presence and. Yeah. Yeah, some different, you different, 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 different social yeah. medias and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So I think there's a little bit holding our. You have to evolve. Yeah. You know, to to be able to keep that that cheers with with boobs yeah. motif. Yeah. But you <laughs> but you do like we were talking earlier. You know, I mean, you you want to move to an island where I want to find a, a cabin up in the woods and just get away from people. But I got fucking you, great. You, yeah. But, but you got to have the whip to do it. Right. So you have to. Can we have to come into the future? And play this game you to get the to whip work, right. to in be able to, to disappear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you, you have to work within the, within that particular system until you can get out of it. Yeah, yeah. And, until you can get out of it. Well, you work your way out of it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. But there, like I said, the, the the club can you know can benefit from from some modernization, but you still want to hold on to that. I would think so. Yeah, I would think so. You know, yeah, because yeah. I can imagine that place. You know, even the sign itself. It's got the the dancer and the shadow. It changed. Did it? It did. It they did. got rid of the drawing uh, of the about, girl, about the silhouette. Five years ago, they updated the banner and the little flag that goes around. It doesn't it, say live girls anymore. Uh, it says live girls, but it has um, girls that have never worked in the strip club in that strip club in, on the banner. So, wow! Yeah, I haven't yeah. Been yeah. Up in a yeah they they yeah. updated the the club. Um, they put new hard uh, new floor. Uh, they took down... We might have to go down there, dude. I'm, that's awesome. They, we might have to. <laughs> they removed the carpet off of the walls. I they tried. took down those... They took down Is the, it still this, dark as fuck? It's still oh, dark. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's still no um, windows in the strip club, so yeah. you don't know what time it is. Yeah, they they did some updates to the club, so... We, we, might, what, we might have to go one night. And that was before I left it, okay. so yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, I just they, like they to take advantage. They, yeah. they took advantage of a few coats of paint and, and yeah. some new carpet, and yeah. just to yeah. update it and you know bring it, make it look look decent, yeah. you know, instead of run down. It still you has know. the same. But I kind of always like that run down feel about it. Though. Well, it's still it's still a run down feel. It's just you know you got new carpet. I mean, there's only so many times you can clean puke out of a carpet. Yeah, good yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, good point. Uh, you know, yeah. before it's it's got to be replaced. It has the know? same stage as it has it's always been. You know. Yeah. Um, there, there's still, you know, one crack in the, in the mirror up on top of stage one from when the girl did the splits and kicked the mirror and broke it. Did you see that? Is that what they told you? No, I was there. You were there? Yeah. Okay. And then they, then, uh, in, then their great big fix was putting duct tape across it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because, you know, that size of mirror, because it's an octagon, it's really hard to... Oh, it's expensive it's as expensive fuck, It's expensive to fix, yeah. so... Yeah. You got you're mad at a stripper who did who did like the leg split like straight up and down and right. kicked it and then long legs. long legs yeah I couldn't do that I can barely touch it in heels you know uh, and then uh, so there's still a lot of that that uh, hole in the wall strip club it's still there that's exactly yeah, what it is it's not going okay. away okay okay I not, would hate to see that go it's it it's hard because a lot of us have these like memories of it and we want it to con- continue for future generations of 21 year old strippers yeah. to come in and, and make bad decisions, and make bad decisions. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. i mean the de- decision should be there in case you want to do it right. <laughs> yeah man yeah and, and and this has been a fantastic we show. always yeah. love having yeah. you here thank dude. you thank yeah. you i apologize not having more stories but you know it's well will yeah. we bring you on for season four well, I'll, I'll start taking notes i'll we'll start, 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 notes. start taking yeah. notes yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have you back on we'll We'll tell some more stories. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you'll have a whole whole bunch of them the next time you come. Yeah, I'll yeah. try to get you yeah. drunk next time. And, <laughs> yeah. well, I should should I should have stopped off. I knew I knew better, but I was running late, and oh. we'll just get a bigger bottle next time, and everything will come out. It'll work <laughs> out. All right. So, um, hey, what are we doing next week? We have no idea yet, but we've got some great we ideas some before ideas. the end of the season. We are. Ooh, less than uh, less than ten yep. away from season yep. close. So, uh, folks, the fun shit's going on. We we've had so much good stories. 
so many things happen. Um, any day now, I'm going to hit 10K on the Twitters. Nice. So if anybody awesome, wants awesome. to follow me, um, that's where I post most of my ridiculous memes. That's yep. where you can find me is at Next On Stage 1. And you be my beautiful face. And your lovely girls. And my boobs. Yes. My boobs. I'm going to try and bring out a little bit more. Um, as we uh, encroach on season four, things are going to start changing. You're going to see like our wardrobe improve. You're going to see things move around because yep. when we get to season four, there's big things on the horizon. Um, our studio is going to change like it did last year. Our, our sound, everything's going to move in a direction that hopefully you guys are seeing the progression of the podcast yep uh it's obviously popular people like it yeah. um people it, like the, us people yeah. like steve so it's a good good yeah we're good, doing great yeah. podcast yeah. Um, yeah. Great, great show we are consistently coming up in the numbers on good pods check yes. us out on good pods um our numbers are really good on spotify yeah. so i'm always doing uh little uh memes up on facebook and twitter and i attach the the spotify link to it so yeah, if, if you, you ever want to get a hold of jay yeah buy some farts in a jar from Jay. Yep. I do uh, funny shit yeah, all the time, dude. You can hit him up on the Facebook, which is Next, Next on, on Stage, stage one. 1. So we tried to do that all of the time. We're trying to use the hashtag Next on Stage 1. Um, yeah, if you if you need to get a hold of us, if you know a stripper, you know somebody who worked in the industry. You're talking to a stripper, you're dating a stripper. Share the show. Yeah. Tell them about us. And maybe you found one of our stories funny. Maybe you found us interesting. And you just wasted an hour of your life. Yeah. Yeah. And come back because we're friends. Yeah, it's, not we're a, friends. it's not a waste. You're friends. Oh, always, always when you stuff. hear your family. Speaking of family, ma'am, <laughs> a lot of our um, podcasting friends had birthdays this, uh, this month. Right, I know you nah, don't do that, but I want to highlight our friend 20 Tim Minutes. He's having his birthday this weekend. Our friend Glaza from um, Classical Stories for One. Uh, she's having her birthday. Job from Decent Takes, who did our hoodies, he had his birthday. Anthony from um, We Have Issues. These are all of our friends that we have online that are supporting us right now. Gosh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. All right. So, growing okay, fast. hey, guys, I might love it. Um, hey, check us out. Oh, I don't have anything else to no, say. No, that, thought... that was it. We told everybody is that, where to is find that us. It? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, hey, by the way, Porn Sash, dude, you're. Knocking this shit out of the park, dude. You're cracking me up this week, so keep it up on fucking Twitter. Hey, see us next week, and uh, we're going to do some more weird and crazy shit because yeah. we're still on season three down and dirty. Thank you, folks, for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Here, next on stage one. My name is Pixie. And Bye, I'm guys. Mr. J. <laughs> Talk hard, Denver. Guess,